Hi, uh, I'm Kit O'Connell. I'm a journalist. Uh, I was at Austin Pride last night when two people got arrested by Austin police. Just as some background, last week the Austin for Palestine Coalition members met with Austin Pride about a slide which had leaked showing what appeared to be Palestinian symbols labeled as hate speech. They got an apology from Austin Pride, and there were many people representing Palestinian liberation and Palestinian pride at Austin Pride this year. There was a group at the festival in Kafia and handing out literature and merchandise about supporting Palestine, and there were people marching in the parade supporting Palestine openly. But we also know that a group got stopped last night who were trying to join the parade viewing area with banners and flags and other signs supporting Palestine as LGBTQ people. I've also gotten a report that at least one person was removed from the parade area with a flag. What we don't know is why that group was singled out why they were stopped from joining the parade viewing area like so many other people. Even as I watched them be stopped by police, other people were being allowed through, so we know that they were singled out. The police were extremely aggressive, bringing out bicycles surrounding the group. They had chemical weapons like pepper spray and pellet guns. And it's extremely disturbing to me that they were so ready to use those weapons at Austin Pride against LGBTQ people. What's made this whole situation especially painful is that the people singled out by the police were many of the same people who had met with Austin Pride just days before and gotten that apology from them. There's so many unanswered questions here and I'll continue to press for answers through all the channels I know how. I've been in touch with representatives of the city and Austin Pride, and I'll do what I can to get answers out of Austin police in the coming days. Now, I'm gonna editorialize a little bit here at the end. We do still have unanswered questions. As a journalist that's covered a lot of events before and a lot of interactions with police that have turned violent, I think there's a lot of conversations to be had about what Pride looks like in 2024, who sponsors it, and what it means and represents. But as far as what happened last night, my impression is the police overreacted, as they so often do, to groups of people that they don't understand. And that's something we need to continue to address through organizing, activism, and creating better solutions. If I seem a little frazzled, it's because I was on my feet for hours last night, and I'm very tired. This is also a little bit rushed. I'm more of a text person than a video person. And I do plan to have a longer update hopefully soon on my website, kitoconnell.com. So keep an eye out here on my homepage and the other places that I'm on social media. And feel free to reach out if you have questions or comments or ideas or tips. I'm always happy to hear from you.